What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people have been asking me to break down the FBG Duck situation on the board today. Uh, we going to do it. I just want to kind of put this little um, asterisk mark here to let you know. I'm not here to tell you what happened to FBG Duck. I'm not all the way sure. I wasn't there. I didn't see the paperwork. Uh, these are just my opinions, but these opinions come from close sources. You got to remember, I interviewed a lot of people from FBG. I interviewed Duck, Brick, Kobe, TB, Poppy, Cash Out. I talked to uh, several people. I interviewed KI Mother. Um, so I feel like I didn't talk to a lot of people close in the movement, even Billionaire Black. So uh, this is basically what I want to say. I'm not sure if you guys understand. 600 is enemies of FBG, okay? So we're going to go 600, okay? Now we got 600. A lot of people consider 600 59th, 60th, 61st, and 62nd. Now some people might say not 62nd, but 62nd. 600 is 59th, 60th, 61st, 62nd. And we all know about them. E Day, okay? We know E Day, LA, 600 Breezy. You know, and take 600, the rest of all those guys. But remember, Lil Durk is affiliated with these guys, okay? Lil Durk is affiliated, and Chief Keith is affiliated with these guys. Even though they're not 600, they're affiliated with these guys. He was affiliated with Rondo. He was affiliated with LA. He was affiliated with those guys, too, and even C-Day. C-Day, which is e Day brother, was arrested in Chief Keith's house. Lil Durk was an artist under, I mean, L.A. Capone and Rondo were artists under Lil Durk, even though they rep 600. So Chief Keith and Lil Durk is affiliated with 600, okay? Now we're going to go to 63rd, which is FBG, okay? That's with Duck now, you know, FBG is 63rd. Then 64th, 65th, O-Block. Okay? Now this is what I've noticed as I've been watching and documenting the drill culture. FBG enemies were these guys and these guys. Okay? These were his enemies. These were their enemies. I noticed as the drill culture kept going on, it's something that caught my eye that kind of concerned me. I noticed that FBG, which was headed by FBG Duck, I noticed that his enemies his ops were rich. Chief Keith's rich, Lil Dirk's rich, O'Block has King Von. He's rich. So I noticed right off the jump that this guy is beefing with crews who have rich members in them. So I didn't find it surprising when I looked at the internet and seen these guys dissing their dead homies. These guys dissing their dead homies. These guys dissing their dead homies and their dead homies. They got a war going on. They are claiming that they're doing things to each other and things like that, okay? They're claiming that it's a beef, some street stuff that's going on. I didn't find it surprising that Brick lost his life. Kobe lost his life. K.I. lost her life. T.B. lost his life. Poppy lost his life. Can't, can't get right lost his life, then Duck lost his life. I don't find it surprising that all these guys got chopped off. They were sandwiched in the middle of hoods with rich people who they were beefing with. Now, the most crazy shit ever, imagine having an enemy and you guys warring, but you guys are just regular people. You're beefing and dissing each other every day. Then you go to sleep. <sighs> And wake up, the nigga you beefing has a million dollars. I believe it was money on this guy here. Okay? I believe it was clearly money on his head. He lost his life downtown in a nice neighborhood in broad day. Which lead me to believe if someone was willing to risk their life doing these type of situations, that it had to be money on this guy here. Okay? Uh, I noticed another thing that um, 
Chief Keef kind of got rich and moved to California. Lil Dirk got rich and went to Atlanta, California, and did his own thing. This guy was still all about the hood. He made it his business to diss this guy on every song that he dropped. His biggest song today is Welcome to the O, and he has a fake duck lookalike in the video. That's what I was seeing. I don't know if Duck realized how dangerous it was for him in the city of Chicago. Because he was battling these rich niggas by himself. He was doing all this by himself. His music was starting to finally get there. He got features by 21 Savage. Uh, Slide did almost 40, 50 million views. He did all that without being posted on World Star, without being posted on Shade Room, without being posted on Ball Alert. He did that being him dependent, not independent, him dependent. He did that on his own. He grinded. It was a one man band. This guy was looking literally out here battling all these rich people by himself. So I'm not gonna lie, when I found out that Duck lost his life, I thought it was one of the saddest shits ever and it really hurt me because I thought that young brother had a chance to change his community. And it looked like he wanted to change it. But I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't surprised that this happened because I noticed that it's like a sandwich. 59th, 60, 61st, 62nd, him in the middle, then 64th and 65th. This guy was paranoid in his neighborhood. I'm not sure if anybody want to tell you. Now, I'm not saying Duck was scared. I believe Duck was really a street dude. But I'm pretty sure he had to be paranoid knowing he was sandwiched in the middle of those neighborhoods and his enemies got rich. Then all of a sudden, the world updated. We get into 2019, 2020, 2021. He dropped the song Dead Bitches, okay? Now, that song was very, very disrespectful, okay? I believe that he didn't know exactly how famous he was. He went downtown, someone spotted him, made that phone call. Those guys came and took his life. And I believe whoever took his life was heavily rewarded. That's just my personal account. But uh, this video is not to disrespect him. It's not to be a uh, negative. It's just telling you what I noticed when I paid attention to the whole thing. Cause I've been documenting the drill culture for about seven, eight years. And I just noticed that you know, this guy was put in a position where he was battling Lil Dirk, Chief Keith on a couple blocks from him. And then right behind him, he was battling King Von. Those guys got rich. I really didn't think he had a chance because he was blackballed. Chief Keith, Lil Dirk, King Von made it to the industry first. They were on the Breakfast Club, Complex, Genius. They knew all the club promoters, all the DJs, all the record label owners. Meek Mills, Lil Baby, Gunna, Young Thug. They're sitting down, cooling with them, having conversations, kicking back, telling them how it was in Chicago, how these guys used to try to kill them, take their lives, and all kind of stuff like that. Do you think they're going to deal with FBG Doug now that they didn't befriend them? Do you think Lil Baby is going to do a song with FBG Doug knowing that he's real close with Lil Dirk? Knowing that Lil Dirk is real close with Meek Mills? You think Meek going to do a song with FBG Doug? Let's just be honest with this shit, man. Chief Keef is real cool with certain artists. You think they're going to do a song with FBG Duck when they know that Duck and them tried to do shit to Keith back in the day? So the black ball is real. But in my opinion, buddy... Enemies just got too rich. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be dropping more exclusive blogs today. Remember, I don't need no donations. Keep your donations. You might got to go buy the kids some some uh, some winter jackets or something. But I'm not going to lie. It's kind of warm enough. So you might got to switch them winter jackets to the regular jackets, man. You might got to go get the hot chocolates with the marshmallows, the flaming hot with the cheese. Keep your money and do something for your family. All I'm asking you to do is hit the like button. When you do that, it make my videos grow and a lot of people be able to see him. It's the homie truth teller. Blech, blech.